the elites are at it again. And this time it's to change Disney's motto to the crappiest place on earth. Because the California Attractions and Park Association, CAPA, wants to scrub out the last traces of fun and excitement from our lives by ruining theme parks forever. It's like giving a trophy to everyone in a sport, making everyone the winner so that the slow and fat kids don't feel bad. Except now, it's taking the thrill out of thrill rides by turning everyone into a faceless loser who's scared to have any fun. Stick around to hear exactly how the corporate left is sucking all the joy out of you one more time. And don't forget to smash the subscribe and notification buttons so you never miss the latest episode of Renegade News. On April 1st, 2021, theme parks in California will finally reopen at 15 to 35% capacity. According to Dr. Mark Galley, the Secretary of the California Health and Services Agency, with case rates and hospitalizations significantly lower, the arrival of three highly effective vaccines and targeted efforts aimed at vaccinating the most vulnerable communities, California can begin gradually and safely bringing back more activities, especially those that occur outdoors and where consistent masking is possible. But Kappa, the industry trade group representing Disney, Six Flags, Magic Mountain, Universal Studios Hollywood, and a bunch of the other parks want to make sure that none of us care they're doing everything they can to follow the Japanese theme parks industry's ban on screaming, shouting, or yelling. In a recent promotional video, Tokyo company Fuji Q told coaster riders to scream inside your hearts. And then they showed a video of two executives riding the roller coaster the way that they think it's supposed to be done. Yay! But don't worry, it'll still look like you're having fun because they're going to give you these stickers of smiling and screaming thrill seekers so you can slap them on your face right over top of your mask. Yes, you heard that right. Instead of yelling, screaming, and laughing, you're supposed to jam a fucking sticker image of somebody having fun over your face mask. Of course, none of this should surprise any of us. The progressive left and the corporate elite have always been bound and determined to make a life into a joyless, trudgement existence for as long as any of us can really remember. According to Derek Unter of Town Hall, these guys suck the joy out of everything. The simple things, the complex things, everything is now fertile ground for being offended, for outrage, and for an opportunity to attack Republicans, especially Donald Trump. Except it's not just Republicans and it's not just ex-President Trump. It's everything that brings a little bit of joy to our lives outside of being corporate cogs in the corporate machine. Or dares to show that we aren't scared of everything and we just want to live. Hello, police. I'd like to report a disturbance. These little blue guys are having way too much fun. Over the years, these parasites have gone after comedians who aren't allowed to joke or riff about really anything anymore other than maybe Donald Trump. And they've invaded everything in pulp culture that people care about, right down to Miss America herself. In the 2017 pageant, Judge Thomas Rhett asked one of the finalists, given the evidence that concussions from playing football can cause brain damage, would you support legislation that allows full contact football in elementary and high school? Yes or no, and why? Of course, Miss DC Brianna Kinsey answered, I do believe that, that I would. As someone who wants to go into the medical profession, I know how important it is to keep our kids safe so that they can have a quality education. Translation, football is fun. Let's ban that shit. Fortunately, there is an upside to this ongoing attack on fun and it starts at the amusement park. Hopefully, all those sniveling, whining babies will stay home while the rest of us go and start living again. According to a recent poll in the Morning consult, 72% of the voters who backed Joe Biden in 2020 felt uncomfortable visiting Disney, Six Flags, Universal, and others. Compared to 65% of people unconcerned about COVID-19, 66% of those who avoid wearing masks, and 40% of voters who backed Donald Trump in 2020 who feel perfectly fine. But even if you feel comfortable, why would you want to? Where is the thrill in riding a roller coaster when... Screaming, laughing, and breathing unfiltered air is against the rules. Luckily, we're already seeing a backlash of people telling these big parks where to stick it. In a recent Inside the Magic article, saying that Disney is continuing to enforce mandates even though Florida State is enforcing them to, readers have said things like, My extremely large family won't be visiting anything at all until all mandates have been removed, like in Texas. In the heat, the masks are extremely uncomfortable, breathing in my own air. And doesn't matter if all mandates in Florida are gone. Disney will go against it because of political reasons. 
Learn to live with it or stay home and do nothing. It's been a year and we should be going forward, not backwards. And I think it's stupid. When the state of Florida isn't requiring you to wear a mask, Disney World shouldn't either. If you're that afraid of COVID, stay home. And nope, I'll pick Volcano Bay till they stop making me wear a mask at a water park. So tell me, do you feel confident visiting the theme parks? When you do visit, are you happy to wear a mask with a screaming face sticker and then sit behind a pane of plexiglass separating you from the other riders? Or would you rather support theme parks that go against the Kappa requirements and allow their riders to breathe and scream freely? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click on the link in the description and subscribe right now so that every week you'll get the inside scoop on the latest infringements and wins in your fight for freedom and liberty. And if you enjoyed this edition of Renegade News, please hit the like or the share button. We would really appreciate it.